Okay, uh, I think uh, for most of the uh, chapters, I give a, a brief description of assignment overview. Sometimes I don't, hopefully after the first few weeks, uh, you, you kind of get the hang of it and you don't need this for every chapter. <laughs> Let me go to next. And this is the first real my open math assignment assessment. So it gives you a brief description. It's for chapter one, 16 points possible to do this Friday. And um, people who don't finish this are going to start getting warnings from me about how I'm gonna drop you. <laughs> Please don't get that. <laughs> so let me do start assessment. <laughs> so by the way, uh, this is the first semester. This is a new assessment experience. It's uh, kind of in the beta, uh, beta testing stage at the MyOpenMath. If you encounter any issues, please uh, let me know. That uh, my the late past thing that I saw is I think one of those errors. I'll be reporting that. Um, this is still in the beta testing stage. If something looks funky, let me know. I'll try to figure out if it's a bug, and we'll try to fix it. Um, so this shows all the questions, um, and uh, you kind of just work through it one by one. Now, this is the arrangement of question that you will see for many of them. One, many of them will have a hint. And um, many of the hints will be re basically read the textbook, um, which I hope is not, uh, it's not meant flippantly. I do link it to, to the sections that are rele relevant. And um, if there's a particular example I want you to look at, I do try to say that in the hint, so it's not meant <laughs> flippantly, just read the textbook. Um, and um, the questions here are types of questions that you will be able to answer after having read the textbook. Um, all these disciplines occur in the section and you can kind of match them up after having read, read it. Now I've done it already, so let me just uh, do this. Chemistry, I think atomic molecular physics, engineering, applied physics, architecture, um, structural stability, geology, radioactive data. Now, when you submit question, as you submit question each time, you'll get a feedback on if you got it right or if you got it wrong. And you can uh, do a number of different things. You can try a similar question, or I guess here I got it right, so I can just move on to the next one. And as you do this, I hope you notice the notes here. These uh, indicate how many tries there are and how many times you can ask for a different but similar question. And, uh, you know, it, the system by default has them set at 100. I basically meant them to be infinite. Uh, I don't mean to limit your attempt on homework in any way. If it takes you 20 tries to get something right, great, all the power to you. <laughs> but, you know, as, uh, well, uh, yeah. Uh, my intention is not to limit how many times you can try. And somehow if you run out of 100 tries, message me and we'll work something out. Okay, let me go to the next question. And let me get this um, deliberately wrong. Magic, uh, recognition, island. I don't know. Uh, you should really read the textbook because textbook does tell you what MRI stands for. Uh, when you submit question, um, you will get this. And uh, for many of the questions, you can just uh, give, try, uh, uh, do a new attempt, initiative, and uh, submit the question again. You see this counter keep going down as I do um, wrong things. And if uh, you eventually fold and read the text of a page and you realize, oh, it stands for magnetic resonance imaging. And I deliberately made the capitalization look weird. I don't think the question is sensitive to capitalization. So let me submit it and see if uh, yeah, it's graded as correct. Now I'm done, I can move on. And so it uh, kind of moves on like that. Now, uh, I've answered, uh, scored only two out of 16 points. So when I go to the next module, you will see that um, um, it's still locked because I haven't scored at least 7.5 points. So, so uh, let me at least get that far. Let me try to score 7.5 points or actually eight points. So let me continue the assessment and try to get at least eight points. All right, uh, biological sciences, all the applications of physics in biological sciences. Uh, properties, probably. Uh, 
dynamics of human body? I don't know, that feels more like chemistry thing, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Medical diagnostic tools are based on physics, process that occur in our brain to form memory. That doesn't sound like physics to me. A differentiated energy in living, yeah, that's just the wrong statement. Explains a sensory phenomena, it does, I think. Explains how or organic compounds, well, I mean, they are different from inorganic compounds, but that's more chemistry. Uh, I'm not sure about the very first choice. Let me submit it and see what happens. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh, all right, it's right, I guess. <laughs> Let me keep going. Um, it, those questions are really reading check questions. Uh, it's much better if you read. Okay, model is a, a, a representation of a natural system, which is an explanation. Theory is an explanation of patterns in nature. The, Difference between theory and law is a little bit subtle. These two statements try to distinguish between them uh, for what it's worth. Um, okay, four more questions. Classical physics, uh, that uh, sounds high, but it's actually small enough. It's uh, much smaller compared to speed of light. I think that's basically what the hint says. So yes, um, three more questions. We check all the criteria that must be met. Uh, yeah, must. Um, so in um, speed is much less than speed of sound. So classical physics means uh, non-relativistic and non-quantum mechanical. So size large enough to be seen with a microscope. I think it's large enough to be classical. Um, it doesn't have to be large enough to be seen with the naked eyes. It doesn't have to occur in Milky Way. At least we believe it doesn't have to occur in Milky Way. It doesn't have to occur on Earth. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, speed of sound. Sorry, no, it should be speed of light. <laughs> Involving speeds larger than, than um, well, sure, but it doesn't, that's not a must condition. Involving phenomena that occur, it doesn't have to. Involving objects of large size, large enough to, be, it doesn't have to be. I think this is it, just the two. Uh, let's hope that's right. All right, good. Uh, two more. So, it's quantity of unit below is SI unit or English unit. So English, English, uh, cubic centimeter is SI, kilometer is SI, pound is English, English cubic meter is SI, foot is English, gallon is English, meter is SI, kilogram is SI, gram is SI, centimeter is SI. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, okay, one more. And I have to be actually quick with this one. I want to demonstrate something. I'll see. In some situation, it is more advantageous SI metry also below better to use SI units. Uh, very large or very small. Uh, it has to do with SI prefixes. I think the hints will tell you about that, metric prefixes. And uh, English units are actually pretty accurate, so that's fine. Um, driving new units, yeah, SI system is built to make this easy. Uh, yeah, this one, I, I pr frankly prefer the English unit. Inches are kind of easy to think of. This is about an inch. Yeah. So all right, let me submit that. Okay, eight points. So I feel like I should have cleared the module requirement. And when I go next, this is what I see. So um, I get questions about this all the time. And this is a bit of a quirk of a system in that uh, my open math, so it's trying to avoid the spamming, the, uh, the learning management system. So it does not do score updates uh, very often. Um, last time I heard how the score update is done, it um, does it within the five minutes of last time a change occurred. So um, here I can just wait five minutes uh, Canvas will eventually figure out that I scored more than eight points and uh, let me in. So that's one way. <laughs> um, another way is uh, if we score 100%, uh, then the update happens more quickly. Last time I heard it should happen within a minute. So, um, so let me try refreshing it. If I got lucky and it kind of just refresh it. Uh, okay, I, okay, got it uh, on its own. Yeah, so happens within five minutes. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily have to be five minutes. But so if a situation like that happens, uh, my, I mean, feel free to message me, but if you message me, what I would probably tell you is, oh, I, it's the Canvas uh, uh, myopometer delay. Wait a couple minutes, take a break, 
drink some coffee and, uh, and come back and it'll work. But you know, on homework, I really do want everyone to try to get 100%. You get in unlimited tries. Uh, these are real grades, they count. There's no reason not to get, try to go for 100%. And I mean, you know, when it starts to get frustrating, then don't get frustrated, but you know, you should attempt to end every question at least. So I think that's uh, everything I wanted to demonstrate and graded the discussion. You've seen this type already. And 